So you'd think that in today's industry, you know, creating a simple mechanical bike like this would be an easy task. But honestly, it's like the hardest thing you can do. And it's just that in today's manufacturing, it's just gotten so easy to make like very, very complicated things, but very complicated to keep it simple. The whole team, Rich, Brandon, Ron, everyone, we all just came together around that one sentence, that one line, keep it simple, keep it clean. Everything starts with a frame. All the bones just gotta be in the right places. And we actually honed this frame for months, you know, all the, all the castings and forgings and, you know, every single tube. We honed it for months to make sure they just sat right. And the frame really has to complement the motor. And in this case, of course, we have our Thunderstroke engine and we really wanted to push that to the front of the stage. When we had that, you know, and the bike sat right, it had the right stance, um, we had the wheels in the right places, the engine on the right ride height, only then could we move on to the tins. It's actually very much like when you're building a custom bike. You know, you put the engine on a crate, you position the wheels so they all sit right together, you start bending some tubes, you hang in a fork, and it's like, it's really a gut feeling thing when everything sits right, it has the right flow, it has the right stance. It's like nothing a book can ever teach you. And only then, when everything is right, you're ready to move on to the next level. The tins, the bodywork, is always a challenge because the more you remove, the more you try to simplify, the more you have to make sure that you have, that you have tension and that you have soul baked into every surface and every line. The hardest things to design are always the purest in its form. It's, it's just really complicated to keep it clean. And the tank really sums all of that up. Uh, it has that really famous accelerated arc into it, like the old chief tanks from the 40s used to have. And it has that super narrow waist. It's actually really hard to get a nice waist on a motorcycle today. But anyway, we worked really hard to get there and we just felt it wasn't really a home run. And we ended up scanning in a 40s tank and almost reskinning it, fitting this bike. And only then did we feel that, okay, now we got it. Reskinning the tank was actually a very respectful and almost sobering process because you could almost feel Hendy and Hedstrom watching over our shoulders uh, creating this tank. We also decided to introduce a very subtle feature line. It starts on the front fender, it picks up in the tank and enhances that iconic chief uh, accelerated arc and flows through into the back fender. It almost has that feel like from a 39 Zephyr, like it's subtle, it's almost a second read. It's really hard to model and even harder to press. The details on a motorcycle like this should really be like the jewelry that makes that simple, clean black dress shine. And that's really how we attacked all the parts on this bike. All the way, you know, from, from the lowers to the nacelle, the, uh, the digital speedo, uh, or the headstock casting where Rich really poured all his heart and soul into it, all the way down to that little logo that is cast into it. Then of course, through the engine with its machine highlights, you know, and you have the footrests and you go through the side covers, every little casting and forging on the frame that leads you back to that shock. And the shock takes you down to that beautiful swinger. Everything we really poured in as much attention to detail that we possibly could.